University of Nebraska Lincoln is going to be celebrating its 150th birthday in three years. Great institution um, in terms of delivering on its land grant mission to the citizens of Nebraska, in terms of being a catalyst in the economic development of the state, particularly the agriculture sector, um, in terms of building a research enterprise, and certainly the state support for, for, for the University of Nebraska has been, has been wonderful. What's really exciting also is to look at the next five, 10 years out for the university. And I think there is tremendous potential and tremendous momentum. And I feel talking with the community, a readiness in terms of moving the university to its next level of excellence. Um, to me, that excellence means uh, being the very best in the nation or one of the very best in the nation in terms of student success and in terms of eliminating achievement gaps. It means um, increasing the impact and the scope of the research enterprise over the next 10 years. And it means um, new collaborations that can really help, um, uh, that can really help increase the impact of the university regionally and particularly in the state in terms of the economic development of the state. I've had the privilege and the opportunity to lead a transformative process at another land grant, Oregon State University. There aren't too many public universities, public research universities that will lay claim to a 50% growth in enrollment, a 50% growth in degrees awarded, a $100 million increase in the research enterprise and a $1 billion campaign over the past seven, eight years when the nation and globally we have faced significant challenges economically. Um, I think that um, one of the reasons we have been able to do it is to create a community that has really taken ownership of the university, ownership of where the university needs to go, a leadership team that is really aligned and committed to the future of the university. Um, again, I believe that no two institutions are alike. Cultures are different, context is different, history is different. But I think the experiences that I've had at OSU in building a large enterprise, uh, the lessons that I've learned in this particular process, um, I think have prepared me very well in, in, um, in leading another land-grant university like UNL.